Thank you so much for stopping by, fellow Nans and Gramps and Grands. It is your host, Galadon. It is an exciting episode, so I need to say it. Fellow fans of Clash of Clans, thank you guys. This is it. Gold Pass Clash, episode 71, is the episode, two episodes after the fateful episode 69, that we go to Town Hall 12. That is right. We are finally going to get the job done. We are becoming slightly rushed but I will insist that this is the correct decision for my situation. And remember, don't let anybody else tell you how to play. Obviously, we all know if we're watching these videos what the penalty for rushing is. I am prepared to accept said penalty as we use the hammer to go to Town Hall 12. So here it is, Town Hall 12, Gold Pass Clash, catching No Cash Clash in Town Hall levels, even though I believe no cash clash just made it to the level five giga tesla we will get there we need to focus right now on fixing the rushed town hall 12 and that is why the progress base is essentially going to remain a town hall 11 progress base now we are looking at what you should upgrade first at town hall 12 i did just recently make an episode about this so i don't need to go over it exactly but yes the lab is always a priority the clan castle is a big priority, as are the new structures. And uh, what else? Oh, uh, we've got walls. Okay, th those are not a big priority. But I did have a bunch of wall rings. I actually had too many. This is another item that had I not gone to Town Hall 12, we would have lost out on a bunch of wall rings, a rune of each type, and probably a book or two as well, just simply because of the rewards overflowing and they will not stack. The only way you can get multiple magic items in your town hall is if you buy them. And obviously this account is not going to buy those. Okay, so we've got the boost. That is the temporary five level boost, but we also have, well, yes, way too much dark elixir. So we're gonna go ahead and get the archer queen up a couple of levels today. We do have extra books of heroes also. We have tons and tons of runes. In fact, I think we're gonna go through like three runes of dark elixir today. We have the one that was already in the town hall. Then we have one from the gold pass and another from clan games. Definitely not something to complain about. I've got too many runes of dark elixir, but yeah, we do. There we go. So a book of heroes to finish the queen. She's already 52. It feels good. This is again, one of the reasons that we went to town hall 12 right now. And there you can see, we did this 13 hours before the May season ended just right at the deadline to make sure we got the job done. Then we're gonna go ahead and make sure we burn through all of the other spare runes that we have. That means another rune of gold and rune of elixir. But in the meantime, we still need to deal with the extra rune of dark elixir before we can collect the clan games rewards. And of course, I would always say, work on your storages when you go to a new town hall level because you're not going to get the full value from a rune if you haven't upgraded the storage first. That was not an option, so instead we send the Barbarian King for 160,000 Dark Elixir on his way to level 51. Now we can finally get in here, collect the Clan Games rewards that we also let run to the very edge of reason. We also picked up the Rune of Builder Elixir, so congrats on your sixth builder very, very soon. Gold Pass Clash, obviously that's gonna help things out as well. Then, yes, we've got a lot of walls going on, the wall rings and all sorts of resources. This episode is gonna be chock full of upgrades. And yes, I realized in a recent video, I mentioned how it would be nice to have Gold Pass and No Cash Clash at different town hall levels so I could have more of a variety of things to upgrade and to do. And so here we are again, stuck with both of them at Town Hall 12. But again, there was really no other way around this. So perhaps you guys down in the comments that I always read could give me some suggestions as to what you think would be a fun competition between the two accounts since they're both at Town Hall 12. You know, we could do like an air versus ground. We could do high trophies versus low trophies. See the difference in loot, say in gold versus master league. I don't know. There's lots of different options. Okay. In the meantime, the very first town hall 12 upgrades are going to get going. And that means, okay, now this is confusing. That cannon is going over to the completed side of the progress base, even though the town hall 12 is on the wrong side because it's supposed to be a town hall 11 progress base. Remember that the progress base is all screwed up right now. We're gonna fix it a little bit later, but right now think of it as a town hall 11 progress base with the town hall 12 on the wrong side, the right side, the wrong side of the wrong thing. Anyway, all right. 
Okay. So, hey, did you see that? We don't have the cooldown done yet. We've got another three days or four days, actually, before the Hammer of Building can be purchased. And we will be buying it and using it on the Clan Castle, one of the most important upgrades at Town Hall 12. Also, brand new Hidden Tesla, brand new Inferno Tower, Galadon. Well, I'll admit, I kind of dropped the ball on this one as well. Those should be like the first things you do. Also, Workshop, depending upon your clan, do you really need to produce those for yourself or are you helping out your clan by producing for them? Those should always be big considerations. And yes, this is just another instance of do what I say and not what I do. I'll get to that sooner or later, I promise. Okay, so here we are. The June season has begun for Gold Pass Clash. I know it's been around for you guys for days, but here goes Gold Pass Clash. Gonna pick up that Snake Archer Queen skin, which, okay, fine. It's called a Jungle Archer Queen skin, but I... I I don't know, it's it's grown on me, I would say, since I first seen it, but I still think it looks like she swallowed a goat or the Grand Warden or, or something. So, okay, here we go. The season ended, we picked up all of the loot from the season bank. Gonna go ahead and buy the gold pass for the June season. And of course, like we always do before we make any purchase in the game, we click on settings, we click on more settings, we scroll to the bottom, we type in Galadon, and we appreciate ourselves. And I appreciate you guys that do that. And half of that money that I get doesn't cost you a penny goes back to charity. And then the rest pretty much funds all of the giveaways. Have you guys seen the cool new stuff I have? Insane, crazy, awesome statues, limited items that I am getting from overseas that Supercell is continuing to make even though they don't sell them in the United States anymore. Uh, it's such a shame. But okay, we've activated the gold pass and obviously we're nowhere near getting the discounts. So that means the walls are going to have to be upgraded at full price for now. I mean, yeah, it would have saved a couple million in loot, but you know, we'll get there. We will get those challenges done. It was more important right now to spend the loot because it wouldn't make any sense to go out and raid to try to earn the points to get the gold pass discounts while the storages are absolutely overstuffed. So we spend 20, 30, 40, 50 million in loot, get a bunch of walls upgrading for Town Hall 12. And then now we've got the issue of the Dark Elixir once again. So we're going to go back over to the heroes, which, yes, I realize do still have that five level boost. We're sending the Archer Queen away for an entire week. So that free five extra levels is going to be wasted. But I think it is better to waste that boost than it is to waste the Dark Elixir that would be just sitting there and overflowing. And we can spend some more right here. Let's go ahead and do a double boost on our Sneaky Goblins and Super Wall Breakers. Even though we have a Super Potion, let's save that for a future time when the heroes are upgrading and we really need it. For now, we'll just boost them. And of course, we know as always, we will get that Dark Elixir back in spades once we start raiding with pretty much the strongest farming army in all of Clash of Clans right now, Sneaky Goblins. Okay, a Hidden Tesla going to level nine and we move it over to the old new Progress 1112 base thing. Uh, that's I know I'm gonna get super confused in future episodes just so you guys know I know that's coming Okay, now here is a decision that I made that has to do with Clan War and CWL and the fact that I went to a new town hall right in the middle of CWL by using gems and I know that was a lot of gems for a virtually free-to-play account but by using those gems and finishing the lab upgrade we now have all of those boosted troops that are even higher level than they were before. So not only farming benefits, but the raiding in wars and specifically the next seven days of clan war are going to benefit because we have boosted armies and level six baby dragons. Yes, I realize I also have two heroes down. I am a baby Town Hall 12. Okay, fine. I rushed Town Hall 12 but I have to go up against a pretty much nearly maxed out Town Hall 12 in CWL. So the thought was, let's take one for the team. Let's go ahead and spend some gems so that we can lock down at least a two star in CWL. So we've upgraded a gold mine because that's about all the loot we had to spend. And it is time to get in here and of course, attack the very last base in CWL, but it's a strong 12. I mean, not messing around, right? So maybe not maxed out, but certainly not three starable by any means for a brand new baby Town Hall 12 with no Barbarian King or Archer Queen. So we go in with the one goal to get the Town Hall down 
with the blimp the warden the lightning spells taking out the sweeper and the air defense and then we'll go ahead and use a miniature version of invincible blimp right here so i'm gonna drop the warden and uh yes he is on air good okay there you go and then hit his ability right away that makes sure the blimp is going to roll all the way to the town hall then it's a freeze it's a rage and that should be there it is. The town hall goes down. Okay, so we get the town hall for the first star. And now you know, like I've said for many, many, many episodes, baby dragons don't lose. You will always, always, always be able to grab 50% if you're just careful and you bring a full contingent of baby dragons. So, however, yes, far from the three star, I call this a success. We end up with over 60% two star in CWL and we are at town hall 12. And I beat the legend. Not legend, just the legend. Okay, time to move on to the status report for Gold Pass Clash. Man, did time fly or does it feel like this episode was like an hour long? I don't know. Either way, let's go. We lost some more trophies, so uh, let's see. Let me know what you guys think. Could I farm down here or should I move back up? Uh, we don't have any points yet, really, for the new season pass, but we will get those back. And then we did spend some gems, but we're still well over 2,500 gems. That feels good. Also feels good to be getting those hero levels once again. They were not moving for weeks and weeks and weeks. I hope that you guys enjoyed these ah. episodes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to gently depress the like button and make it happy. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode with Galifam. You are the true hashtag Galifam. That's why I love thinking about it. Appreciate it every single one of you every single day. So get out there. Make the best of the rest of the day. Be kind to other people. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks. Okay, that, that, was, that wasn't very clear. I apologize. Remember, never sacrifice quality for speed.